yeah, still preparing live stream. Okay. <laughs> We're on. Uh, so welcome back. And this is our final review for Root Pretty. And I just wanted to kind of show you my face uh, that was for the day. Um, and the makeup stayed pretty well. You know, my nose, like you guys know, I tend to kind of do this. So you can see like right there has sort of rubbed off. My nose got a little shiny. It's very similar to Savvy. So what I mean by that is, you know, towards like maybe four or five hours in, after coming back from lunch with Tim, it was a little bit um, shinier than I would like. So the thing that I didn't buy, which I sometimes would use with Young Living, depending on the humidity of the day, is the setting powder. So they have two different ones. They have a super matte setting silk, which sounds like right up my alley, and then an organic aloe setting silk. So I'm um, going to probably get the super matte setting silk to check that out. And then they also have of like multiple sprays. So if you are looking for the mist, right? Because <laughs> again, this, this mineral line works similarly to Savvy Minerals in that you can, you can use a spray mist to um, set your pout, you know, your face, or you can use it to, you know, we would spray it just into the lid or into the palm of your hand and create richer colors for your um, eyes. So they have, like four or five, no, a bunch of different ones. So they have different ones and different flavors. So like Rose Auto and Helichrysum, that sounds interesting. Um, so they're pretty inexpensive too. So you could try them out and see. But yeah, I think that I needed the setting powder. That's the interesting thing with makeup is that, you know, we, as we're moving through, you kind of, oh, that's how I should use it. Oh, that's better. So like when you first apply it, it, you know, your skin has to settle into minerals. So whenever I've done this with other brands, even like I'll go downstairs and Tim will be like, it looks caked on. And I'm like, really? And then by the time we get to lunch, he's like, oh no, it looks good now. <laughs> like your skin has to almost like breathe into it. So it's good. It, you know, he, he liked this one. Uh, you guys were asking about this brush. I don't know the name of it, but it's the flat one. So you can kind of just see it's on their site. I guess I could look it up here. I don't know if I could find it fast enough, but um, just know that they have different brushes, but you could use your savvy brush with it. It would do the same thing. So um, something to see, and I don't see where to find it, but I could probably search for it, but we're not going to take too much time. So as far as, you know, the different things um, I couldn't, so one thing I could do with savvy that I couldn't do with this again, just to kind of compare the two was I wouldn't have been able to go ahead and take the pearl powder W3 as, as like to kind of mattify myself again because I would do that with Savvy I would just like you know if I was going out that night I would just do it a little bit more um this could because this would add a whole nother layer of makeup so I mean it's okay to do that if you wanted to but I think that that I think the final the final touch for this makeup line for me will be using that setting powder as opposed to because remember see it's just putting a whole nother layer of makeup on so if you're going out, this, this mineral wear, like I said, it, it definitely covers way better. It covers a lot more. So if you're looking for a sheer coverage, this is not necessarily that, you know, meaning like it's, you have to put a lot less on. And I showed you that in the demo. And like I said, you could also do um, just this with a little bit of water and it's actually more sheer. So uh, the lip stuff that I ended up liking the most, just had it. Uh, here we go. Is the pretty balm, and you guys were asking colors and whatnot, but this is the Millie, and I thought this was really nice. It has a nice pinky, but a little bit more brown. You can even see here, like a little bit more natural. So we are discussing Root Pretty, and this is the closest to Savvy Minerals so far. Uh, so we are going over all the brands now that pass for cleanliness, and what I mean by that is we have a really strict uh, ingredient policy. I do. The reason for that is because of the oils that we use. So most of the clean companies, and what I mean by clean companies is the ones that claim to be clean, most of them, and this is for real, I'm, you know, not, I'm not lying. They have synthetics in them, lots of synthetics. So very few have just a little bit of synthetics, like, like in, the, in the case of Crunchy, they are very clean. 
they just have dimethicone. <laughs> so that was the only real problematic thing for me and synthetic beeswax in one random product. But it's kind of like, okay, there's a reason for this. So, so we have to go back. I was on a conversation with someone today who was asking about the oxy serum and it, I just kept telling her like, but you really can't use it if you're using synthetic makeup. And her comment back to me was, I'm fine because I am using EWG certified makeup. And I wrote back to her and said, that doesn't mean it's synthetic free. See, you guys think that if it's EWG certified, it's good. Well, take Beauty Counter, it's EWG certified. It is riddled with synthetics. So remember, we have to remember this. Synthetic doesn't mean toxic in most cases. But if I add oils to my face and then put synthetic plastics on top of it, those oils are going to start attacking the plastics, breaking them down and pulling them into your system. It's why we don't put lemon essential oil or any essential oil into water bottles. So I, I feel like I'm beating this dead horse, but it's not dead. All of you, so many of you still aren't getting this. And I'm sort of like, I kind of wanted to shake the woman today that I was talking to. Like, have you gone to any of my videos? <laughs> so I just posted like, look for dimethicone, but dimethicone, read your labels. And again, it's not that dimethicone is the big bad wolf here. It's that you have to know what's in your makeup based on what you're using as an oiler. So you can use dimethicone, which by the way, most of you do. Like I was talking to Lucy Levito, she uses a product now that has dimethicone in it. It's very clean, but there's dimethicone in it. So she's like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> you know, so it, it's okay. It's just don't put any oils on or near your face and use your essential oil infused products or serums that you're making at night when you go to bed and then use the whatever you want to use, like maybe just a carrier oil in the daytime with the makeups. Now, like art, the art line or the bloom line, the, the make the creams that, that those have don't have enough essential oils in them to really cause too many problems. But if someone is wondering, why do I keep breaking out? Or why do I have weird rashes that come up in weird areas? It makes no sense. Check the labels on the other products you're using. And most likely it's your makeup getting interacting with essential oils that are on your face that maybe has too much essential oils and it's racking. So that's why it, it, it's just almost impossible to find. So Root Pretty, it has nothing in it, all natural products. So that being said means that, you know, you've got smaller, smaller tins in the, in the, in the preview. I, I didn't mention this and I said I was going to, and I forgot to talk about it, but you know, you all were wondering, like, why did Young Living cancel out Savvy? And I want to be clear with you on something that you got to think through. Natural makeup, right? Plastic can last forever. All natural makeup doesn't. Really, realistically, in a, if kept in a climate controlled environment, the makeup at the warehouse has a three year from production. So when it's produced, it has a, a three year shelf life from when it's produced. That's not, that's why most of the makeup that you see says like a little 12 month on it. Occasionally it might say 24 months. Sometimes it even says six months. It depends on how long that product is stocked at the warehouse typically and what time about you're going to have by the time you get it. So think this through. What happened? COVID. Nobody was wearing makeup for like two years, almost three, right? Two, two solid years. Nobody was wearing makeup. 2020, 2021. We all sort of started wearing makeup in 2022 again, but you probably were just randomly wearing it. I know I was, I wasn't wearing it every day. I was kind of like, oh, I kind of like not wearing makeup. That was kind of a lot to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's interesting is You've got a whole product line of millions and millions of dollars sitting in a warehouse and no one's buying makeup. So there's a couple other things here at play, which I think was a bad move on Young Living's part. I love Young Living, okay? So I'm still all full Young Living, but here's, here's an interesting thing. Look at these. Look at these eyeshadows. This 
little thing will last me like an entire year, if not longer. This is not considered a consumable. You don't go through this in a month. So what all of you guys did, myself included, we bought all the shadows. And then like, I still have some from probably five years ago that aren't, haven't gone bad. Cause I don't, I'm not opening them up all the time. I'm taking care of them. I'm not, you know, spitting in them or whatever, you know, I'm trying to keep things pretty clean. Those makeups, the eye makeup from Young Living were massive. <laughs> Sorry, they were, we had a lot, I had a lot of product. So this is right. This is a, this is a good amount and it's the right amount. And it's allows me to change colors more frequently because it's less expensive because it's less product, but I'm still, I'm not running through that anytime soon. Uh, you know, I might run through the concealer if I'm using a lot of it, maybe the blushes a little bit more, but, but not as much. And, you know, looking at the powders, I might consume this within a month if I'm wearing makeup every day. And that makes sense. So you, so the companies are going to sell those things more, but if a company has produced all of this clean makeup, which Savvy is a clean makeup line, there's no synthetics in it. And it's sitting on a shelf for two years, two and a half years. And now we're starting to wake up and buy again, but they're sitting here and have lost millions because they probably had to throw most of it away. You can't sell it expired. And what I mean by expired is it, it some of you have asked me, you've said, I kind of opened it up and it smells real weird. That's because there's bacteria in it and it's expired. So just know that, that natural products have a shorter shelf life than plastic products or synthetic products. So when you guys are all like crying about the fact that Savvy went out of business, well, it was the least profitable thing in Young Living's, I don't know, multi-billion dollar industry. We're like at 2.5 billion or something like that. So knowing that, I, it makes sense to me. That's heartbreaking. Like you got all this natural stuff and it's gone bad. And what are you going to do with it? So, so I just encourage you to understand that one element surrounding this product line, that this product line is smartly packaged, smartly done. Uh, you know, you can use it, but it's also going to be different because it's light savvy and that you have to remember it's not plastic. It's not going to last a gajillion years. Um, you know, if, if you tend to ma wear makeup seldomly, I would encourage you to wrap this stuff up in Ziploc bags and stick it in your fridge in the back. Uh, that is fine to do with, with mineral makeup. So, you know, I, like I said, I like this line a lot. I feel like it matches Savvy a lot. What I want to do with it is kind of mess around with just the um, foundation. So wanting to just do the pretty booster and do this alone with that, uh, the matte, the super matte setting silk. So I'm excited, I'm excited about trying that one. And like, let me be super real with you here. Have you guys been pricing makeup out? So the super matte setting silk is $18. I mean, come on, <laughs> right? It's affordable. And then you then have the little refill packs. So they're trying to really be economical and like I said, the majority of the cost is in packaging. So it's, this is just really smart. It's a smart company. You know, you might feel like maybe it's um, too, uh, too minimal. Okay, so there's a fine line. And I remember this with um, Savvy that they were going back on the, and forth on this because you guys were complaining about some of the packaging and how it was coming to you. And you're like, well, for spending this kind of money on makeup, it should be wrapped pretty. And then everybody was complaining about the fact that it was over wrapped and we had these cute little boxes with all the little, like, it was insane, you guys. It was like Young Living couldn't please you. It was either not enough pretty packaging or too little. So, so, I mean, come on, we didn't help them out in any way to keep that product line. So just know this product line is out of every product I've tried the most minimalist in packaging and in actual like waste. So be aware of that. And that's part of what they're doing. Um, and that's also why it's able to be less expensive. One of the reasons, not the only reason, but uh, that's where just kind of helping you out to know that like you can try different things and do all the things and see how you feel about it, but uh, try it. You never know. And that's part of it. You may not, might not like it. You might love it. So I'm excited to try it the um, this other way. You know, I've done it a couple different ways now. I've done it with the foundation first, the actual BB cream plus the actual 
you know, pearl powder. And I felt like that was a little bit too much. I've actually done it with the pearl powder with the primer. That felt pretty good, but I'm really curious about just the BB cream with maybe some concealer on a few spots with the um, super matte setting silk. So that should be fun to try. But otherwise, I, I really think this was a fun brand. And I think that there's a lot, um, a lot to be said about the kind of ability to ebb and flow and move around it. Um, but otherwise, let me know how you guys feel. So you're watching the replay. If you are, you're on, some of you are on live here. But if you try it, I would love to hear how you like it. So uh, you can go to rootpretty.com and order. I'll also have a link for you to get a discount right away, right off the bat. Um, and that just tracks to see how many, I think 40 of you guys have gone on so far. So to um, try that and uh, yeah, the products are gonna sell out. I think that's one of the biggest problems. So if you're interested in just waiting, cause I still have several more to share with you over the next few days, just to share with you the different brands um, that you could possibly try. What I would encourage you to do is go on there, get some samples, get a few samples that you could try to see what you, what you like. And again, watch the demo video because that's where I go over colors and what matches what colors. Uh, they're really great customer service. And I can't say that for all the companies I've dealt with, but Root Pretty has been very good with customer service and you can message them and they will go back and forth with you, helping you to color match. You can even send a picture of yourself, maybe multiple pictures in different light, and they will, they will help you out and figure out what color will match for you. So uh, what do you guys think? Yes, yay, nay? Um, oh, I didn't get real close and I usually do this. So one thing that I have to see, see is I've told you this, that everywhere, everything always gathers here, but that's not as much as it usually does. The eye makeup did not crease today. I haven't touched it. So that's a good thing because usually powder will get real creasy, but it didn't, it stayed put. And I put kind of a lot more on than I normally do. And then just looking at the underneath, <clears throat> it didn't pile up either. So sometimes I have like makeup pile up <laughs> right underneath and it didn't pile up. So I think I could probably still figure out a slightly better color. I, you know, today, as I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'll back up because you guys are keep saying it looks too white on you. It's the lighting. So if I back up, it still is maybe a little bit light. So I'm trying to, it's tough because it's pretty close. Like I'm talking like right there with the warm two, but it's maybe slightly lighter. So I might, um, I, I ordered a bunch of the other colors, not realizing I ordered the foundations <laughs> and I needed to order the powder foundations. So I need to order some more of the samples. I did ask them too, if they'd be willing to send me like all of the samples of all the colors so that I can actually take them up against my entire line of savvy and match them to see, to let you guys know what's, what's what, like, like give you a list. Um, I'm asking that of all the other companies that are clean as well. Like, can you just send me a sample of each of the items so I can try and at least match as best as I can? So it would take the guesswork out. Now, from a company standpoint, if any of you people on here are from a company that sells makeup, that's one of your biggest things is that's part of your R&D. I would expect you to do this. And I'm surprised that most haven't. <laughs> that you should buy products from other companies. Now, Savvy Minerals is a fairly unknown because it's part of Young Living, so it's the Young Living community. But I mean, probably a million of us using it, right? We have 6 million customers or something like that. So I'm, I'm, they've said it's a smaller percentage, but you know, it's a lot of us. Um, and you know, that's probably why they're out of stock and all that. But one of the things to consider is, uh, is just that simple fact that you can at least sample it and, and kind of go from there and see what works for you. And as far as them being sold out, I would guess that that's going to come back. You know, things sell out all the time, just give patience, but that's where I was saying, do some samples. Um, tomorrow I'll do another brand. You can, the brand I'm doing tomorrow, you can actually go into a store to get, it's odd that it's clean, but it's totally clean. So I'm going to share with you all that. Um, I was at a store today, uh, trying to pick up one more thing from this brand and, um, this woman standing next to me was saying something about Clinique and how does Clinique have dimethicone in it? And I thought, isn't that interesting that people go crazy about dimethicone? For what reason? It's a sunscreen. Nobody, 
very rarely. One company out of all of the companies I researched, even the random ones that we didn't even talk about, just the ones that I put up on the, on the Facebook group, um, only one had nanoparticle and they, they, they call it out as micronized titanium dioxide and micronized um, zinc. So when you see that run, but they'll say that that's what it is. Uh, I think legally they have to, it's really difficult. I've heard people say that they don't have to put if it's micronized or not. And I'm like, I don't think that that's true. So if you're using a product that has, that's for your face, that has titanium dioxide in it, look to see if it, if it calls out like SPF 15 or SPF 30, that's because that's what it's there for. <laughs> so just know that. And nano wouldn't give you SPF. Just that's another interesting thing. Like nano technology seeps in and gets into your skin and it, it, they would have to use a, a kind of both because the whole point of it is it kind of, it's like a little film on your face that covers you from getting the sun. Okay, so um, so that's why you want titanium dioxide in your makeups. I have no problem with it. I think that it's totally fine. It's from nature and it's safe. So this whole thing of everybody think, and so I, I believe titanium dioxide is in some of this product as well. And that's not a problem at all. So. So I said, Clinique, and she's like, well, I'm just looking for a really clean brand. And I said, well, the only clean brand in this entire store is, and I told her, and the woman behind the counter said, oh, I didn't know that. And I said, well, we're talking synthetic clean. There's some other brands here that are okay, but they have tons of synthetics. So if you're looking for a truly clean brand, you have one. <laughs> so, so that's what we're going to talk. I'm not telling you who it is. I'm just right now we're going through companies that are clean, but I'm going to kind of leave them as surprises. So tomorrow morning I'll do my makeup uh, from another company. And then sa Saturday morning, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to do the same. We're just going to kind of get through the last ones here. And um, I'm excited. So all right, and samples in the bags, just reading some of your questions. I, I mean, does anybody recognize this? This is for freedom. This was, uh, I bought this at, I think one of Shannon Hudson's events, um, but these are handmade by women that are super, super underprivileged and I love this bag. Uh, but yeah, tons of samples. I bought a bunch of stuff. They um, added in a really cute sample that was like, I think it's a multi-use thing and I love the color. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So that was, that was special to me because Tim and I do that. We try to do that as much as we can <clears throat> is like, we call it a French fry. Like, do you remember Arby's? I don't know if it was Arby's, but there was a, there was a French fry company that had a crinkle crut, crut, like a cross crinkle cross French fry or whatever and regular fries. And so you'd order the regular fries and all the time, a, one of the other one would, would end up in there. And we always were like, that's weird. Oh, cool. We thought it was a little treat. We found out later that that company did that on purpose so that you would have the ability to try. It was like, do the fries, but just add an onion ring in there. Like our onion rings are amazing. Add the onion ring in there. Like add the extra one thing so they could try it. So we call it the French fry effect. <laughs> so, so I'm like, did you add a French fry? And he's like, of course I added a French fry. Or if he's too busy, I'm like, did you add a French fry? And he's like, no, we're swamped. I don't have time. I'm like, what? Like our people love it when you add French fries. So you don't know, we call it French fries, but they're just an extra thing, like a wellness mapping book or a, a pocket reference book or whatever, you know, we just kind of add things in there. So, um, so yeah, I will list out the colors and whatnot, but there's uh, really just the one that I liked the most was that bomb. And then the one that was the little, uh, I don't know, I think I brought it down. Oh no, here it is. The, this one, and you can see it actually has kind of solidified it again because it's gotten cold again, but this is the, um, I don't know how to say that, but Anslay or something. So they're all like named after women. So I'm not sure what that is. There's gotta be a story behind that, which would be pretty fun to hear, but all of the colors and stuff are usually women names. So like Mary, um, although this is Bliss. So that's, I guess you could name your, yeah, champagne cake. So I guess I'm wrong on that, but I've seen a lot of women's names like cat. So I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Sophie is the lip, is the blush I used, which I actually really liked because it's way, like way less um, bright. And I felt like this, this had a nice, and I did put more makeup on. So now, so you can see it, it matches my skin a little bit better, but again, that's maybe too much. I'm always trying to 
tone down the redness. Um, all right, so that's it. So thanks for hanging out with you all and just answered a couple questions on the side here. Uh, but I will get online and do the full write up and this is going to be a pass so it'll it'll you'll see the the write up of it with the colors I used I'll put all the colors and the products that I use. And I think that this would be um, something to consider for sure. Okay, everyone we will talk soon. Bye.